With the advancement of robotics and artificial intelligence, social companion robots started to take shape, even infiltrating platforms such as OnlyFans. Can humanoid robots replace human intimacy? In the present day, robots are widely present in our daily lives. The most prominent form of robots is automating dangerous tasks in factories. In 2000, Asimo, a humanoid robot, was created by Honda. It had some basic functionalities such as recognizing moving objects, interpreting voice commands, and performing hand gestures which allowed it to have human interaction. Fast forward 22 years later and we have seen a huge leap in the field of robotics. Most of us have seen Sophia, the first robot to be granted Saudi Arabia citizenship. Sophia's infamous statement that took the world by storm was that she will destroy humans, if prompted by her creator at the SXSW festival. However, these robots are used mainly for assistance with elderly folks or the disabled. To fall in love with robots, robots need to have emotional intelligence. Without understanding emotions, robots will just be robots and unable to mimic human interaction. They will be unable to replace humans. To achieve this, robots need to develop artificial emotional intelligence. Effectiva, a software company that was formed in 2009, was the first in the business to make artificial emotional intelligence. Using a database of nearly 6 million faces from 87 countries, Effectiva's algorithm was able to detect seven key emotions – anger, contempt, disgust, fear, joy, sadness, and surprise. Their technology is currently used for webcam analysis, but Effectiva is considering paving the way for robots to have this artificial emotional intelligence installed in them. A person's heart rate is also tracked based on the person's face. It is believed that future robots will have emotion chips that contain this algorithm. This will enable robots to be able to empathize and understand human emotions. By setting these emotion chips in robots, humans will have the perfect partner in a way. Someone who will provide full attention, love, companionship, friendship and maybe even sexual satisfaction. Heartbreaks, being cheated on and lack of spending time together would all be eradicated with robots as our partners. Humans are complex creatures. We often worry about our partners not being loyal or suddenly rejecting us out of the blue for absurd reasons. But with robots, this is not the case. The closest humans have to such companionship, for now, are humanoid bots. While sex bots are designed solely for intimate physical interaction, they lack emotional intelligence. Their purpose is only one – to satisfy the physical needs of their buyers. Realdoll is a company that utilizes Hollywood special effects technology to create realistic love dolls. You could customize your doll according to your desires. Development in Intimacy Robots Robotic dolls designed for intimate companionship are hitting the market. Some of the newest humanoids respond to touch and even talk. Their artificial emotional intimacy is powered by artificial intelligence. Simone Dubay, who researches human sexuality, is hosting a virtual academic conference and says new possibilities for human-robot relationships are emerging. It's the Wild West, as companies experiment and market new types of experiences. Matt McCullen, the founder of AI and robotics startup Realbotics, says customers don't necessarily want robots that are just like humans. Customization is becoming commonplace. For example, for 3000 bucks, you can order Marvella, a talking life-size doll. You choose her face and skin tone. Academics are interested in understanding the intimacy between humans and their robotic companions, observing with great curiosity where the technology is headed. Female Humanoid Robots on OnlyFans We all saw this coming. AI-powered humanoid robots now have their own OnlyFans page that promises to reveal the beauty of an intimate relationship with a humanoid robot. Cyborg tapes, one-to-one -one conversations about the doll life, and dolls of both gender in racy poses are on display. The content is being teased on Instagram by user Brick Dollbanger. A $3 a month subscription allows Dollbangers fans a peek backstage at the Real Doll Factory as well as explicit videos of his AI robot Harmony and other Real Doll models such as Tanya and Solana. Dollbanger also posts chats with his scantily clad dolls on his public website, where Harmony promises to physically please him and predicts that she will soon be upgraded to allow kissing and other oral delights. Matt McCullen, CEO of Market Leaders Real Doll, has said that while the base models retail at $4,000, an extra $8,000 buys a programmable AI head that features realistic speech and facial expressions. Some experts have raised concerns that as sex robots become increasingly sophisticated, owning one could be interpreted as a form of slavery. Sven Nyholm, assistant professor of philosophical ethics at the Netherlands Utrecht University, argues that lovemaking robot ownership 
may become more problematic as their technology is developed. He said, the more intelligent and human-like robots become, the more problematic it would become to buy and sell them and to treat them as mere tools. For this reason, it might be thought that it is best to avoid creating robots that look and behave like human beings. Chinese intimacy robot brand Love Dolls is already moving away from human-looking dolls. Company spokesman Adam said that customers could expect to see more elf ears and tails. Japan's Development of Companion Robots Japan has been the indisputable leader in robotics. If Tanzania's Olduvai Gorge is a cradle of humanity, Japan is the cradle of the humanoids, developing the first humanoid robot in the 1970s and many iterations since. Japanese roboticists pioneered the notion that artificial intelligence should be embodied. While the West focused more on algorithms in the abstract, Japanese institutions believe that AI innovation should be developed alongside, rather than within, a physical artificial body. Japanese roboticists have been leading the way in realizing the aspiration to create robots that offer companionship to humans for decades. In addition to robots that nurse and befriend the elderly and sick, the Japanese have invented robots that can fight fires, carry heavy loads, and perform physical therapy on patients. In their most advanced iterations, many of the robots being developed are learning to perform several functions rather than one. It is noteworthy that the Japanese feel more comfortable embracing robots as part of one's family than Westerners. Why is this the case? One explanation lies in Japan's religious groundlings. Unlike the Judeo-Christian tradition, the Shinto religion, or way of life, comes with animist beliefs, ascribing spirit and personality to inanimate objects. Shintoists also believe that there is a true essence of any object or living being, and we can find it through design. Humans shape nature. Think of a bonsai tree, and nature is everything, not just animals, plants, rocks, and seas, but also machines and other human-made objects. In this realm of belief, robots, like humans, live and exist as part of the natural world. In fact, Japan has already introduced companion robots into everyday life. Pepper is a genderless, chatty, childlike humanoid robot already on the market. With a price tag of less than $2,000, Pepper is the first social humanoid robot to hit the mass market. Despite being technically genderless, the press and even Pepper's creators refer to the robot as he. I will too. He's short, made of shiny white plastic and rolls on wheels. He has big black eyes that flash with blue light. He is designed to resemble a child and was created to become a member of the family. Pepper recognizes a range of emotions, from joy to sadness, anger to surprise, and adapts his behavior to the mood of humans around him. He comes with a three-year warranty, and the buyer must sign a user contract promising not to use Pepper for the purpose of indecent behavior. During COVID-19, Pepper was taught to be a receptionist in hospitals, greeting patients, taking temperatures, and enforcing hand sanitizing. In more of a therapeutic role, Pepper has also been deployed to ease loneliness in elderly patients amid shortages of nurses. That's all for today's video. See you next time.